Are you playing anything right now? Well, I have played. Yeah, the, I think the most recent thing I've played is Pokemon Run and Bun. ROM hack for Emerald. It's the hardest Pokemon game of all time. I just beat it. And holy shit, it was tough. Like, dude, you, you have no idea. Every single trainer in that ROM hack is like insanely difficult. Every single trainer. Imagine having to plan and pick out the perfect team for every single trainer in the game. 400 mandatory trainers. Is it a good game? Yeah, it's a pretty good game. I really enjoyed it. Ten levels over? No, no, no. It's not that their levels are high. You're the same level as them, but every single trainer used actual strategies that were implemented in... Um, in professional like Pokemon tournaments dude let, let me show you okay let me just show you what the gym leaders have just just to kind of freak you out a little bit dude look at this not chat we are watching funny videos what? sometimes by you fricks and all right I don't know how that started playing pay no attention all right anyway <laughs> <laughs> okay, so dude, look at this. Look at this. Exposed. D l let me just show you how insane this game is, okay? The first gym is Brawly in this hack, okay? Look at his team, okay? He starts off with Cub Fu, alright? Little, little pseudo legendary type guy, alright? Sure. Little legendary ish fellow. Every time you kill one of his guys, he sends in Lopunny with Retaliate, okay? Now, Retaliate does double damage if he kills one of, if if you just killed one of his guys. So, Lopunny is faster than anything you'll ha find this far in the game. Lopunny will just pop out, hit you with a double Retaliate, and then you hit Lopunny and it is an eject button, so it leaves, it'll send out something else, and get a load of this. Are you ready? He'll send Lopunny in again when you kill the second guy, so he can hit you with another double boosted Retaliate. This is the first gym, okay? The combo skin, right? You'll send it a water type. Obviously, it has thunder punch, of course, obviously. But also, it's speed boost, so it becomes faster than you every single uh, level, every moment of the game. Like, dude, l let me just show you, all right? You want to send out, uh, like, some sort of flying type to fight combo skin? Thunder punch. What about a flying type to fight Hitmontop? Rock slide. Okay, okay. <laughs> I see, I see, I see. Now, now, here's the craziest one. Okay, so Poliwhirl, whatever, just has the, the ultimate coverage. It's super effective on everything. And then look at this. Scraggy. Shed skin. With an Eviolite. So its defense and special defense are 1.5 times. Once you actually get it down and whittle away its HP, it will use rest. Okay? Sleep. And its ability, Shed Skin, will wake it up. <laughs> look at this! <laughs> So, you fight against this guy, he'll hit you with, like, power-up punch, okay? Which boosts his attack. It's not, like, an incredibly powerful move, but it boosts his attack. Okay. He has an Eviolite, so his defense is crazy. So, you'll need to hit him, like, three times to get him low. Alright. So, he'll boost. He'll boost. He's finally low. He uses rest. Shedskin wakes him up. Now, he's at full HP. Extra defenses from the Eviolite. Double attack from the power-up punches. And he will just be punching you again. Power punch again, power punch again, rest again, shed skin wakes him again. These actual monsters, okay, this is the first gym. The first gym. This is the easiest gym in the entire game. Is this fucker over here. Okay? I'm not uh, Pokemon run and bun. It's insanely hard, okay? L like, dude, you, you think that's tough. Just look at what the rest of these guys have. Tate and Liza, you know how Tate and Liza is normally a double battle? So, Tate and Liza is, in fact, 
Two back-to-back -back single battles. You have to beat eight guys in a row. And the eight guys are Azelf the Legendary, Latios the Legendary, Zoroark, which transforms into another one, Hoopa the Legendary, Tapulele the Legendary, Latias the Legendary, Metagross, who's Mega Metagross, by the way, and Hoopa, another Legendary. You have to beat eight back-to-back -back Legendaries. And it's like, oh, but it's a Psychic Gym. You just... Yeah, you think it's a Psychic Gym, you idiot? This is a Dark Type, so if you bring Ghosts, you're fucked. This is a Ghost Type, so if you bring Ghosts... You're fucked. This is a fairy type. So if you bring darks, you're fucked. D do you see what I am saying? Do you, if you d do you see what I am saying? <laughs> like, this is absolutely, like, this is not fair. Eight back-to-back -back legendaries. You have to beat Tate and then Liza. Like, uh, insane. Absolutely bonkers. And every single fight is like this. Some some of them are just so unfair. Like I think that uh, one of the least fair fights. Let me see if I can find it. No, they don't have it on this list. But dude, the maxi fights are just brutal, brutal, brutal. Dude, look at what you have to do to beat this guy. Nothing will beat Grout on in drought. With a press of his blades and rock polish. Like, dude, look at these teams. Every single one. Like, it's not even fair. It's not even fair. Dude, and just look at the champion team. Like, this is just... It's just evil. Like, evil. Like, look at this. It's evil. Yeah, how are you gonna beat Primal Kyogre with Drizzle as the first guy they send out? With accurate thunder because it's raining. And with Origin Pulse that does 165 de power, plus the 50% boost because of the rain. Like, look how brutal this is, dude. Look at this guy. Choice Band, Barrascuta, right? 150% attack Barrascuta. Look at how cruel this is. Of course, Palkia, right? Obviously, you're going to have Manaphy with Tail Glow to boost its attack by triple. Bro. And that the big boss at the end is Mega Swampert insane and uh since it's raining because of drizzle um oh also they changed some of the effects like look at this for example look how brutal this is so kyogre who's as we know incredibly overpowered has the drizzle ability which unlike in other games drizzle lasts three to five turns drizzle rain lasts indefinitely it starts raining and you will fight this whole fight in rain you cannot do anything about it yeah, so it took me like, it took me hours to beat this game. Holy shit. Dude, and it's just like, fuck, look at, look at these teams. This is like the Elite Four guys. Like, dude, what are you gonna do against these guys? This is Mega Gyarados, by the way. Yeah, it took me hours to beat this game. Like, so many hours. Dozens and dozens of hours. I did not Nuzlocke it. <laughs> Don't worry. Dude, brutal fucking game. I, I have lost to every single gym leader here. <laughs> I've lost to every single one of them. Yeah, so, uh, Pokemon Challenges is, like, doing a Nuzlocke for this now. Which is crazy. Imagine nuzlocking this game. Holy shit. Dude, the second gym, Roxanne, has a Zygarde. Okay, this is obvious. This, I don't know why this unknown is here, but it's a Zygarde. Like, this is, this is Roxanne, okay? Dude, every single one of these gyms. Like, I, I remember them vividly because they have all beaten me. <laughs> <laughs> Did you record any of it? Nah. What was your team? So here's the thing about this game. You literally need a different team every single fight. You cannot... Like, you literally need to craft a team for each fight in this game. You cannot expect to win a single fight with just a basic team. Like, they'll give you the tools. It's just insanely difficult here let me uh let me tell you my team that i used to beat the game uh my heart instinct wants to try it yeah no dude it's it's a great it's such a great game it's like so hard 
Okay, so my final team was uh, Dragapult, Celebi, Victini, Urushifu, Absol, which is Mega Absol, and uh, Primarina. That was my final team for the Elite Four. <clears throat> Did you manage to beat it? Yeah. Stack team? Stack team, but look what I was up against. Look, look at Drake, okay? So the Elite Four also, two of them are single battles and two of them are double battles, which is just, like, not fair. I did the first two as singles, the second two as doubles. Like, I, I planned around it. But, so here's the thing. Like, every single one of these double battles isn't just, like, the strongest guys in the game. So obviously this is Mega Charizard. Uh, Life Orb Charizard. Mega Salamence, right? So... Um, the crazy thing about this team is, like, they start off with Suicune and Dragapult. Dragapult has Light Screen and Reflect, and Suicune has Tailwind, which will always make all of his guys faster. And then they just, he sends out these big fat dragons that are all faster than you and will all just annihilate you. Yeah, honestly, I, f I think that uh, Glacia double battle was a big mistake. Yeah, big mistake. <laughs> because this was so annoying. Oh my god, I'm just looking at these teams is bringing me back to getting my ass destroyed by these dudes. Norman took me so many tries the first time. Oh my god. Bro, dude, dude, look, look how insane. Okay, I'm wasting all of, all of our time. But, like, dude, look at this. Look at this. He starts off with Porygon with an Eevee Light, which increases his defenses. Just to annoy you with Recovers and Thunder Waves and all that garbage. Okay. Every single other guy on this team is an actual menace. Okay? This is Mega Pidgeot, which will annihilate every... His Heat Wave, bro. Why? Hurricane? No! But, in my opinion, the biggest threat isn't even the Meloetta. It isn't even the huge power Diggersby, or the huge power Azumarill, which doubles both of their attacks. Brother. This absolute degenerate fuck. This fucking degenerate piece of shit Chinchino with a King's Rock. King's Rock does a ten per is a 10% chance to flinch you. Skill Link means all of uh, his 2 to 5 hit moves hits 5 times. So he'll just send out this piece of shit with 115 speed and faster than probably everything you got, okay? This thing is insanely fast. It's faster than Pidgeot, okay? It's insanely fast. And then he'll just tail slap you. And slap you 5 times! And then there's a 50% chance you flinch! <laughs> You don't understand, it's so annoying. The, the way I was able to beat this guy was uh, I had Togedomaru with, with Rough Skin. Rough Skin does um, chip damage. You don't get access to Trick Room, nice try. Uh, uh, basically Togedomaru, um, every time it gets hit, it does like 10% damage to my opponent. So like, whenever he'll slap with Tail Slap, like I'll send out um, Minchi, uh, Togedomaru, so when he slaps me five times, at least he gets hit five times with, like, recoil. Yeah, you don't get Crobat by then. Nice try. Yeah, this, this game is awesome. Lucario? You do get Lucario, but to be honest, he's not very good against this gym. Like, I tried. I tried. But, like, what are you gonna do? Every single one of them is super effective on you. Dude, this guy, fighting moves are super effective on you. Ground-type moves are super effective on you. Fairy-type moves are strong. Like, uh, <laughs> And this guy will just flinch you to oblivion. It's called Pokemon Run and Bun. Do you get Swift Swim? Not, not then. Not that that's gonna help you against this guy. You, you have access to everything. The thing is, they're just better. You can also try Radical Red. I did do Radical Red. Dude, Radical Red is an actual actual cakewalk compared to Run and Bun. Like, Radical Red is a joke. It's easy pickles.
Infinite Fusion. Infinite Fusion is really easy also. That's just an easy game. Yeah, well, anyway, great game. <laughs>